today. From Empower Field at Mile High in Denver. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Houston Texans and the Denver Broncos. And off we go from Denver. To return it, here's Deontay Spencer. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. The Broncos getting ready to go on offense here now for the first time, led by Drew Locke, their third-year quarterback out of Missouri. Well, that could be an overstatement that 2021 is going to be a big year in the career of Drew Locke because while he's shown his potential in the first couple of years with the Broncos, they're really looking for him to take a leap in year three in consistency and production. Last year, completed just 57% of his passes, 16 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. That ratio has to improve. They'll run. This is Melvin Gordon, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Second down and seven. From the gun, it's Locke. This one complete to Jerry Judy. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. They look to throw. It's Locke. Oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, Sam Martin is on to punt for the Broncos. Back deep here, Andre Roberts. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. And taken right on the 30. We we'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. The Texans ready to take over here on offense. And it's Deshaun Watson at the controls in his fifth season now in the NFL. Another tremendous year in 2020 where he led the NFL with 4,823 passing yards. And remember... That was in a year after DeAndre Hopkins was traded to Arizona. Also had 33 touchdown passes against only...
today. From Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. This is the National Football League. Two teams on opposite ends of the Sunshine State. The Jags and Dolphins are underway. This fielded right at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Now Tua Tungabailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. Absolutely no one's surprised. The Dolphins did invest a high first round pick. Number five overall to draft Tua in 2020. I think that most people would say that his rookie year had plenty of positives, but it was sprinkled with a few negatives as well. Remember, he controversially took over for Ryan Fitzpatrick during the open week prior to week eight. Miami did go six and three in his starts from that time, but he had to get rescued a few times in games by Fitzmagic. And in his own words, he called his rookie year below average. I don't think the franchise believes that, but they're looking forward to seeing him improve. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. And this one complete to Will Fuller. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. So Tua making the completion there. You know, what's different about playing a left-handed quarterback like him? And specifically, I guess, what does this defense need to try and take away? I'll take the first part that you asked about being left-handed. We've got to find out if he can move to his right and still continue to be accurate. So I want to push him in that direction and see if he can get his body squared around and make those throws that he's used to making. The next part is he's a dart thrower. Loves those short to intermediate routes first. Sit on those and make him throw the deep ball. Not that he's not capable, but you want him to prove it to you first. Over the middle, he's got Kosicki, the big 6-5 tight end. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Now the former Washington Husky. Here's Miles Gaskin. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A nice substantial run there by Gaskin, who was the Dolphins' leading rusher in 2020. 584 total yards and just seven starts and got stronger as the season went on. Not bad for a seventh-round pick in 2019. He was drafted number 234 overall that season. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Two are going to throw. That one brought in by his tight end, Adam Shaheen. And he's got this down.
today from M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. and they love their football. That's what Maryland does. And we are at M&T Bank Stadium down near the Inner Harbor of Baltimore. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Baltimore Ravens. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. Then we see the Bills offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. And partner, when you hear about a 6'5", 235, 240-pound quarterback, you don't often think of him being overlooked coming out of high school, do you? That's exactly what happened to Josh Allen. Overlooked, end up going to a junior college, Reedley Community College out in California, before matriculating to the University of Wyoming, and the Cowboys were so glad to get him. on first down is Allen and incomplete to open things up that's an excellent play by the defender he diagnosed that one close quickly and helped force the incompletion an incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25 Allen now looks to throw out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath. Maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field everyone getting their feet wet they get man coverage on the outside and my scouting report from these dbs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands they want man coverage not zone and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion on fourth down, on is the former Dolphin, Matt Hawk, to punt for Buffalo. James Prochet, deep for Baltimore. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Ravens offense set to take over and led by a man still just in his fourth season in the NFL, the 2019 MVP, Lamar Jackson. The best numbers that Lamar Jackson possesses is that his team wins the vast majority of games that he starts at quarterback. But in addition, 2,900 yards rushing in his career. They know how to build around him and play to his strengths. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at about the 32. Here's Jackson to throw. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 10 yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Jackson and this one almost intercepted not a good throw there nearly an opening drive INT I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there there weren't really any throwing lanes but the best part for him he's got second and third down to fall back on so second down still 10 yards to go ball on the 43 now it's Jackson Got a man, it's Brown. 
They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. On third down, Jackson. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. How about this for an opening drive decision? You got fourth and short, just outside of field goal range in all likelihood. What do you do? I'm going for it. I've got to go get it right now. I want to establish a tone. It's early in the game. I want to let my offense know that I believe in them. And you know something else? I let my defense know I believe in them also by taking that gamble. If we don't get it, it's okay. You guys will cover for me. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Isaiah McKenzie is back deep for the Bills. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? But it definitely was excellent, wasn't it? So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. He'll buy Allen hit. He lost the football. And four Today, from GTHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, this is the National Football League. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead, taking it about the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Rams taking the field, ready for their first offensive series and led out by their new starter for 2021 in his now 13th season in the National Football League, Matthew Stafford. And what big news it was back in January when news leaked out that Matthew Stafford was leaving Detroit and heading out west to join the Los Angeles Rams. 
The Rams are hoping he's the missing piece to the puzzle as they seek a Super Bowl title. Over 45,000 yards passing as a Lion, but not a single playoff victory in his entire tenure. The Rams general manager has said he can envision Stafford staying five to eight years, which would take him into his 40s. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. This one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. First down throw, Stafford. That's taken in by Henderson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. You know, the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first, it's good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen and then you do your blocking how about the read though by the defensive guys they weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage and he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe but you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation it seemed pretty dire but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run down an extra DB out there for the Chiefs on the draw this is Henderson and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage no gain on the play there and it'll bring up fourth down he may be a bit undersized compared to the modern day NFL defensive tackle but what he lacks in size he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. And the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. And while I don't equate starting record as a quarterback to pitchers in baseball, it still gives us a great baseline. And Patrick Mahomes, 38-8 and as a starting quarterback for Kansas City in the regular season.